guys, I'm back with another review. This time it's going to be on a pair of KDs. Um, this is actually my first pair of KDs that I have ever gotten. I did get another pair after because I am a fan of them now. But um, I'll jump right in I'll give you some details. First off, it's going to be the Aunt Pearl KD. They did not come out, I'll say Kevin Durant because I feel weird continuously saying KD, but the Aunt Pearl Kevin Durant, they did not come in grade school sizes, which I know sucks, but I don't think any of the Aunt Pearls did. Um, I grabbed a size 7, as you know, sometimes 7 starts men's, so I was lucky enough to get my hands on a pair of 7s. Um, they did not release yet in the U.S. They're releasing February 27th, which is this week. I've had my pair for a little bit over a month, so I know it sucks that I'm just now making the video, but they did release overseas, and that's where I was able to get mine from. But um, I'll jump right in so you guys can see this is the shoe. I'm sure you guys have seen pictures already that's been out for a while, a whole bunch of pictures around. I posted pictures on my Instagram of them and everything, but this is the shoe. It's covered in floral print, pink, blue, and white. They did come with another pair of pink laces. If you don't know the story behind the shoe or the theme, it is for his Aunt Pearl. She was battling cancer and she passed away in 2000 from lung cancer, so his way of honoring her is for her own shoe. Um, you have a little bit of a breast cancer logo up there. It's for a certain fund. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it is a certain fund's um, logo. I'll put it in the description. And I'll get right in on the shoes. Alright, so jumping on to the tech stuff, there is a rubber outsole, there's a zoom unit in the forefoot, and there's a basketball specific Air Max unit in the heel, which is for maximum impact, for maximum impact protection, sorry. Um, as far as the upper on the shoe, is fly wire covered in TPU. There's barely any stitching on the upper of the shoe, which is for less abrasion. Um, as far as the lacing, you have an asymmetric lacing system, which kind of wraps around the cone of your foot. It's really weird at first, but I guess you get used to it. Once I have it on, it really doesn't bother me. When I look at it, it's always like the laces kind of go to, I guess, depending on how you look at it, the laces kind of go to the right if you're looking at them straight on. But um, as far as branding, you have a Breast Cancer Fund logo up here. I can't think of the name offhand, but I will put it in the description. And that is the, the, um, the logo right there. You have the Nike swoosh, of course, in the front. Big Katie in the back. Another Nike swoosh right here. As far as the insole, I'll pull it out for you guys. I believe the insole is Ortholite, but I could be wrong. It could be Ava. The insole says, in memory of Aunt Pearl, who inspired us all to continue the fight for a cure. Which I think is really nice, of course. Um, still floral print with some polka dots. More floral print inside of the actual shoe. And that's pretty much it. The shoe just stays. Sorry. That's pretty much it. The shoe just stays true to the floral print design. You know, pink, blue, and white. Very simple shoe. Like I said, it does come with an extra pair of pink laces. And I will go outside and give you guys some shots of on foot. And you guys can tell me if you like them in the description below. keep it really quick and simple with this video. Let me know if you like them, if you don't like them, if you're going to cop them, if you're not. Remember, they do not drop in grade school, unfortunately, but you can pick them up if you are a size 7 and up. They drop February 27th, and just let me know. 